In the previous class, we set up the H2 in-memory database, and in this part now, we are going to be setting up MySQL database. Now, for you to set up MySQL database, you need to install MySQL in your system, and that is quite easy to do. Simply uh, download MySQL by going to my MySQL download and download MySQL and install it, and then also install MySQL Workbench. Now, I'm not going to be going through installing MySQL. That's not what this video is all about. If you want, check the description. You can also see a link to uh, how to set up MySQL and MySQL Workbench. So once you've downloaded and installed MySQL Workbench, if you are using Mac, uh, you should have... If you are using Mac, you should have Workbench. Uh, MySQL... Workbench, okay. So here we have my SQL Workbench. And what I'm going to do now in my SQL Workbench uh, is to just open it up for you to see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. It's running at port 3300. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to open it up and type root user. I think that's my password. So here you can see how it opens up. Normally, if you open it up for the first time, you don't have this query. You don't have this. Second. So this is what you have. Everything is quite empty. Uh, if you are joining for the first time, have I mentioned, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss an update. So once here, go to schema. In MySQL, you actually need to create the database. So I'm going to simply right click and say create schema and simply call it fleet. Fleet DB, and this is all you need to do, and simply click on apply. I'm going to shift this. You see apply here, click on apply, and apply. So close. So we have our databases created right now. So I can actually just uh, minimize Workbench and go back to our application. So how do we connect MySQL Workbench to our application? Again, the same way we did with H2. So this is H2. I'm going to comment these out by using a comment, by commenting them out using the, the hash key. And I'm going to simply paste the configuration for MySQL. So this is basically data, data source class name. Uh, we have the password, we have the, the, the username, I have the data source URL. If you take note that we have this several times in this UTC and use also, the init mode is going to be always because we are going to initialize, initialize the database with some initial data in the next class I'm going to show you. And now we have this right here because we've not added the dependency in the pom.xml. So let's add the MySQL dependency uh, by going to npm repository. And I'm simply going to cite for MySQL here. And I'm going to search. MySQL connector J, that's fine. I'm going to click on the first one and simply, uh, simply select the dependency here and go all the way back to my pom.xml here and simply add the dependency here. So once you add it, I'm going to go to File and Save All and right click on my uh, project here, go to Maven and just reload the project. Now, if I go back to the properties, this should this error should go away. So we now want to run this application and let's see that it actually connects to my SQL database. Uh, and let's see, how do we know? Uh, we will see that it will create the tables, all the tables for us automatically in, the, in my SQL database. And let's, let's just try to see how it works. So I'm going to click on Run. Let me just make sure everything is OK. Everything should be fine. So I'm going to click on Run and let's see how it works. So the application starts as usual. So let's see. Um, everything starts off as normal. So I'm going to go back to my SQL Workbench here and we're going to drop down Fleet DB. And now we have our tables right here. You can see the tables have been created for us. So uh, simply because we got the configuration right. 
So I'd like to stop here and I also want to mention that in the next part, we are now going to be adding initial data to the database. And we are going to do that using data.sql file. So please remember to subscribe to my channel if this has been informative for you. Also, if you have any challenges getting their sites or following, please let me know in the comment box below what challenges you have. And I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.